Hey everyone, in this 4 minute videos for developers, we are going to see how to force execute shared flows for all the API proxies in Apache Edge including the new proxies that you are going to create in future using Flowhooks. Myself Anil Sagar, I work at Google and Apache platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need Apache Edge account, you can sign up at apache.com slash edge. You need basic understanding of Apache API proxy, for that you can refer earlier 4 minute videos. Also, you need basic understanding of Apache Shared Flows for that you can refer earlier 4-minute video, Season 13, Episode 1. Let's understand uh, why do we need something like Shared Flows and Flow Hooks in Apache Edge. Let's say you have a couple of API proxies and you have created a shared flow that you are executing in these API proxies. Let's say in sometime in future, somebody is going to create one more API proxy and you want to make sure that the same shared flow will execute even for the new API proxy. For example, you have a security policy like spike arrest policy that will prevent denial of service attacks. You don't want sometime in future by mistake an API developer creating an API proxy and forgetting to add the spike arrest policy. So you want to force execute the shared flows in API proxies even if the API proxy is created in future. You can able to do that using flow hooks and shared flows. Let's see how it works in action in Apache Edge. First, we are going to create a simple shared flow to see it in action. So I'm going to click on develop and shared flows. Click on plus shared flow to create a shared flow. So I'm going to name my shared flow as shared flow flow hook uh, spike arrest. And then click on create the shared flow. Once shared flow is created, uh, click on develop to add uh, API policies. So I'm going to add the API policy called spike arrest to the shared flow. So I'm going to name it as a spike arrest rate limit. Then click on add. So I'm going to mention the spike arrest rate limit as uh, uh, two per minute. Let's save the shared flow and then deploy the shared flow to the environment. Once shared flow is created, you have to configure the flow hooks to force execute this particular shared flow. So to configure the flow hooks, go to admin and then environments. And then choose the environment uh, to which the API proxy is deployed will be executing these flow hooks. So click on flow hooks. So there are four points uh, to which you can actually uh, execute the flow hook. One is pre-proxy flow hook that will execute before the proxy endpoint executes. One is pre-target uh, flow hook that will execute uh, before the target endpoint executes. One is post-target flow hook that will execute after the target endpoint executes. Another one, last one is post-proxy flow hook which will execute after the proxy endpoint executes. So I'm going to attach uh, it to the pre-proxy flow hook. Select the shared flow that you have created next to the pre-proxy flow hook. So I'm going to select SF flow hook spike arrest. And uh, I'm going to disable everything else. And uh, click on save. You can attach only one shared flow to the flow hook. So it's up to you how you will come up with uh, the bunch of API policies which will become part of the flow hook. Once attached, uh, let's uh, test out uh, the API. So for that, I'm going to create a new API proxy. Click on plus proxy and choose reverse proxy. Flow hook demo API. I'm going to give the backend endpoint as http bin.arc slash get and uh, choose pass through and build and deploy the API proxy. Once proxy is deployed, let's go to develop screen to see it in action. As you can see in the dollop screen, we haven't attached uh, any policies to the pre-flow, post-flow to any of the endpoints. Since we have attached a flow hook, the spike arrest should execute automatically for this particular API proxy. Let's test it out. Click on trace, start trace session. So I'm going to make an API call. As you can see in the trace, the spike arrest uh, policy got executed from the flow hook. Though we haven't attached any policies to this particular proxy, the API proxy automatically picks up the flow hook and it executes the spike arrest and prevents denial of service attacks. That's how the flow hook concept works. Uh, uh, even if you're creating API proxies in future, if you define a flow hook, those policies will get executed. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please uh, feel free to post your questions in kamira.apg.com. Thank you for watching this video and subscribe to YouTube channel and share the videos uh, with your colleagues and friends.